Nick the Informative Fisherman here and today I want to talk to you about fall fishing. I live here in Northern California so I'm going to explain some of the types of fish we can catch in the fall and how you can kind of go about catching those. Um, you know right now I'm on the Delta today so that's a good one to get started off with. In the Delta in the fall uh, bait fish start running into the creeks, the sloughs, into coves. So basically everything that thrives on bait fish from your bass uh, and your striped bass they become a lot easier to target. Uh, basically, you could throw search baits, you know, like swim baits or spinner baits or topwater baits and cover a lot of water and receive a lot of action in return. Those stripers start really coming in towards September, you know, all the way through November, it'll get really good. And once that water starts getting down below about 55 degrees, uh, bait fishing becomes more popular for them. But the stripers come into the system, uh, when it gets real cold, they settle in. You can bait fish for them. In the spring, they start spawning. Uh, you can start trolling for them at that point. Early in the fall, when the stripers come in, call up like Andy Kachia and get out there. Andy will teach you how to go throw plugs for stripers. Um, you can watch that video right here I have at the bottom. Um, it also has me showing you how to catch some stripers as well, casting plugs. Also, with those same stripers that come in the Delta, a lot of people don't realize about vertical jigging. Um, watch this episode I have right here on vertically jigging stripers. A lot of the time the sun comes out, you see the birds looking around like they're looking at bait, but you don't see any signs of stripers. You don't see anything busting on the surface. You know, everything looks just calm. A lot of the time you can pull over there on your graph. I'll give you a little tip about electronics. If you're going four, four and a half miles an hour, that's going to give you your best read and you can still cover a lot of water at that speed and find those stripers. I'll put a picture right here at the bottom of what active stripers look like um, what you can do is I use two ounce laser minnows okay laser minnows are 285 doctor spoons they're a big spoon you can flutter them down watch that video you'll learn a lot about vertically jigging for those stripers now another thing with that when it gets cold I want you to watch my episode right here on bait fishing for Delta stripers now it doesn't mean you have to wait for the water to hit 55 degrees you could do this year round with the brain rigging, with the rolling cut plug shad, everything I'm gonna show you in that video and still catch a heck of a lot of fish. You don't have to cast for them like us sporting anglers like to do. I like to bait fish them, you know, but a casting's much more fun, but like, I like doing it all. It just depends on the day what I wanna do. But you can vertically jig them, you can cast them, and you can bait fish for them and you can troll for them. Stripers are a fantastic species and the ones that come in from the ocean, our pelagic version of those stripers, are even stronger, more powerful, and better eating. It has no control. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that frenzy, folks. Woo! Hang with us, guys. We'll be right back. Hey sportsmen, have you ever wanted an all-in-one cleaning tool for small game or fish? Well look no further, the Sportsman Field Tool offers an all-in-one stainless steel construction with all the bells and whistles. From a fillet knife, snip, snub knife, gut rake, and a scaler, in its indestructible case, you really can't go wrong. Check your local retailers or visit sportsmanfieldtool.com. Attention Northern California anglers, have you been to boat country in Escalon? With one of the largest selections of welded aluminum fishing boats from Weldcraft, Low, and Hughescraft, chances are they've got the right fishing boat for you. And did I mention they have a full service center to take care of all your boating, repair, and maintenance needs? If you're a boat owner or just looking to become one, you owe it to yourself to check these guys out. Visit BoatCountryUSA.com or stop on by. I'll see you there. I'm sure you've already heard of the Miller Punch Weight for penetrating the heaviest cover with ease for those big old bass. And have you heard of the Red One trolling motor assist cable to either add on or replace those chintzy ones that they come with? You have now. And tired of switching in between split ring tools or breaking off fingernails? We'll grab a Red One wedgie and it'll handle all those bad boys with ease. Visit RedOneSystems.com. Ever tried pulling a planer board next to your boat when trolling or fishing from a swift current bank? If not, you're missing out on one of the most phenomenal fish catching machines on the market today. With Yellowbird planer boards pulling your lines perpendicular to your boat, you can't help but catch more fish. Find out more by visiting www.yellowbirdproducts.com. 
Did you know that P-Line makes specialized lines for all your fishing needs? From the super strong abrasive resistant CXX or the low stretch super stealthy CX Premium. Or maybe you're looking for invisibility or super bite detection with P-Line's 100% fluorocarbon. No matter what your needs, P-Line's got it covered. To find out more, visit P-Line.com. So let's go into another popular species. The Chinook, the King Salmon, the one that everybody in Northern California wants to get their, uh, get hooked up into. Now, there's a lot of ways to catch salmon, just like stripers. You can plug them, you can mooch them offshore with those guys out there by the Golden Gate. Uh, one of my favorite ways to do them is when they come into the Freeport, Sacramento, California area, is to vertically jig them. Watch this episode right here. I will break it down. It is an extreme rush having 15 to 20 foot line straight down to a three ounce big old P-Line laser minnow and hitting a big boy with full power, 30 plus pounder and just having a peel line on the heaviest gear you have. So check that episode out. Uh, you'll learn a heck of a lot from that. Also, um, I haven't shot the trolling for salmon episode yet, but I will. Uh, we've just went out there with Adam Andrini out of uh, Chico and we we're doing some back trolling out there. If you don't know what back trolling is, it's basically taking quick fish with the, those bigger crankbait style baits, using the current, positioning the boat and adjusting the boat and letting those big quick fish get down and drive into those holes. Uh, you'll see that hookup video I was just showing you out there with Adam, but we're headed back up there to try to finish that episode for you guys. So you can troll them, uh, you can mooch them offshore, you can even troll for them over in the bay if you want to. But the most popular system up here in Northern California is like back trolling, uh, drifting row. You can go up there with Kevin Brock or Adam and drift row for them. Um, if you're looking to book a guide in the Freeport area, uh, Mike Graver from Intimidator Sport Fishing is a really cool guy to go out with. And you'll see me out there from time to time. So wave me down and I'll come say hello. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Hey, runner. Okay, I'm gonna have to play catch up. Here we go, hooked up on the chrome and black laser minnow, three ounce. Wow, Woo. dark. Yeah. You got it. There you go. Yeah. All right. I want to rope these two and put them in the water over the side. Now another really cool thing out on the Delta is our panfish school up. Our crappie actually become targetable that time of year. A lot of the time in the Delta, crappie are extremely hard to find. Uh, but in the fall, you can find them. Look in coves, look in marinas, just cruise four and a half miles an hour and look for those little Mario coins all over the screen. Watch my pan fishing tactics video and my how to catch crappie video. I'll put both of those uh, videos up here for you to select from. I'll break down how to catch the crappie how to track them down. Those big red ears. Honestly, I think red ears, it's just, just like another form, looks a little bit different than a bluegill, a little lighter on the bottom, but you'll learn all about them in the videos. Red ears are fantastic eating. I honestly think they taste better than crappie. If I'm bringing a fish home, it's gonna be a red ear. Now let's not skip over the bass. Us avid guys, we all love bass fishing. Um, I do have that how to target fall bass episode right here. It's more technical, breaking techniques down, so you can learn a heck of a lot from this episode. Uh, go check that out. The bass chase the bait around. Today we're out here casting for stripers and largemouth combination. We're using shad imitating baits, search baits that appeal to both. And when the stripers push these shad up onto these flats, it's bass and stripers, largemouth and stripers mixed together. And it doesn't get any more entertaining than that. During the fall season, September, October, November, you will find me fishing the Stockton Delta probably three days a week. So if you want to run into me, uh, that's where you go. But check out that episode. Uh, you guys will absolutely love that. Now, another species, if you've never had the opportunity and you like trolling, kokanee are starting to spawn September, October. November, they're a little late. They're up in the rivers, unless you want to hike in there and you have permission to fish for uh, spawning kokanee in that stream or in that river. That's really cool to do. I have the how to catch vampire fish episode right here. Kokanee is like, it almost looks like a little silver trout, but it's a coho salmon that's a freshwater version. Um, they turn bright red. They get a big hooked jaw with teeth. Sometimes their head will turn green, their body will be red. They are a fascinating fish and they're considered to be, I think, number one for panfare. Um, there's crappie and kokanee go side by side, but I honestly think a lot of people have never tried kokanee and that's why it's not rated number one. You cannot overcook the things and they're oh, so good. 
smoke them, everything. Um, you can watch my episodes on how to catch those guys like that or um, how to catch kokanee in general before then, before they're spawning, and you'll learn where to go target them. So watch my how to catch kokanee episode right here. Hang with us guys, we'll be right back. Been thinking about trying out kayak fishing or already into it and just want some sick upgrades for your rig? It's time to check out the Headwaters Kayak Shop. Come pick the brains of their knowledgeable staff and make sure to ask about their awesome demo program to find the right kayak for you. Or stop in and rent one with Lodi Lake right down the street. The Headwaters Kayak Shop fits all your yakking needs. Tell them if sent ya. Have you had the opportunity to try out the only waterproof, near weightless, shapeable, hands-free LED light on the market? That's right, I'm talking about the Lou Reviewer, the most versatile, multi-functioning LED light available. Choose from its alligator clip or the super strong rare earth magnet that best suits your needs. I guess the only question is, how do you Lou Review? Did you ever wish for an RC boat when you were a kid? And do you have a passion for fishing? Well, guess what? It's time to do them both at the same time. With RCFishingWorld.com's RC Fishing Pole, it's time to be a kid again. So visit www.rcfishingworld.com today. Have you been to RustyLures.com? Did you know they offer free shipping on anything over $29.99? And with all the latest and greatest in bass fishing gear from punching tackle, umbrella rigs, swim baits, and you name it, there's really no reason for you not to be getting the best deal online today. So go to www.rustylures.com. Now, if you like trout fishing and you're here in Northern California, do you know about landlocked Chinook salmon that they plant in, like, in these lakes? Like Don Pedro, you can go up there and uh, book my buddy Patrick Cole. Uh, watch that episode right here, Catching uh, Landlocked Kings. Absolutely cool thing to do is to downrig in a lake 100, 150, sometimes close to 200 feet deep. It's unreal when you're in a lake and you pop the clip and your rod just stays loaded and then you feel that landlocked salmon just boom, 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 surging down on you, taking drag. Very few people fish for those things. They become uh, more active in the fall too, chasing those shad schools. So if you find the shad schools, um, you can watch that episode and go do that. Another thing, start, what is it, middle October, David? It's middle October sometime that they start planting trout in all of our lakes. Wanna know the best part about planting trout? If you like catching trout, it's fantastic because they become easily targeted. Go over to Lake Amador, if you live in Northern California, and catch those hybrid trout. There are Donaldson trout, Professor Lauren Donaldson crossbred a steelhead, um, a cutthroat, and do you know the other, other trout that he crossbred with it? No, I forget what it is, but they grow freakishly fast. They're powerful. Um, you can catch them doing float and fly on the surface. So go check that out at Lake Amador. Really cool to catch a trout that powerful. Um, top lining becomes more effective. That's when you're trolling without downriggers on the surface, pulling the top baits or pulling rip it's baits real time. quick with your rods pumping and see these big Look trout big smash them. Chunk, Brown trout become a lot easier to target, even in the streams, but you want to make sure that you are not fishing them when they are on their bed and they are spawning. Their bed is called a red, so consult with the local fly fisherman if you're going to fish the stream and learn what that is and don't pull brown trout off of reds, which are their beds up there. So go with a professional, go with somebody like Matt Heron um, up there in Truckee. Matt's a good buddy of mine. Even if you've never fly fish, watch the How to, fly, How to Fly Fish episode right here with Matt. You'll get to know the guy. You can call him up, book, your, book yourself a cool trip. Book yourself a good trip. That's always awesome. Now let's not neglect, I know you want to catch the dinosaur, the infamous sturgeon. Very few places in the country to catch sturgeon. Right here, the Sassoon Bay, my good buddy Joe Gomez is the best at catching sturgeon. Say what you will, Joe is a machine catching sturgeon. Him and his son Joey run the legal limit out there with uh, Captain Bub as well. Get out there, book those guys. They will put you on huge sturgeon. Watch this episode right here on how to catch sturgeon. That's Joe, that's Joey, that's John. These guys are class act, fun bunch of dudes that you're going to have a good time with and hammer dinosaurs. I'm telling you, so we got a ton of stuff. We had the stripers, the salmon, the trout, the panfish, the bass, um, the sturgeon coming in. You can still catch big stripers out there where they're sturgeon fishing too. If you get out early enough in the fall before it starts raining, you can still go catch leopard sharks like we did in the last episode. Those San Francisco Bay sharks that get real active until that fresh water starts dumping into the system. Uh, watch that episode right here too. I'll post that up for you guys. So there is a whole lot of options. If you live in Northern California and you want to get started fishing, book some of those guides I suggested. They're all fantastic guys, all personal friends of mine. 
You will get out there, you will have a good time. It'll be a good learning experience. You honestly can't go wrong. We have some of the best weather around in the fall. We have some of the best fishing, multiple types of fishing for you to do, and you're not gonna be let down because mostly everything we fish for in the fall tastes good, but let my bass go. I appreciate you watching, guys. We'll see you next time.